So books I have gifted the most to other people, there are many. Uh, the first that comes to mind is any collection of the letters from a Stoic or more commonly known in academic circles as the Moral Letters to Lucilius by Seneca. So I actually gave away these for free because they're in the public domain with illustrations and so on as the Tao of Seneca because I've given away hundreds and thousands of copies. It really teaches you what I consider perhaps the ultimate operating system for thriving in high stress environments, at least one of them. Uh, then I would say also because I read nothing but nonfiction for more than a decade I really like to gift people I know, type A driven people, fiction because I think many of the principles and truths contained in stories are better absorbed through fiction. Zorba the Greek specifically stands out, uh, which chronicles the adventures of this very brainy, very analytical person, which I see as more myself, who makes all manner of mistakes in life because of that, and then this freewheeling crazy person, Zorba the Greek. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend that book. And then also there's a book called Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert Heinlein, which is incredible. And if you've ever wondered where the word grok, oh I grok that, I don't grok that, where that came from, it's commonly used in text circles, it came from that book. And it's about a Martian uh, developing as a human being on Earth. It's a spectacular, spectacular book. And I would say last, but certainly not least, would be Shirley. I think it is Shirley, you're joking, Mr. Feynman. Along those lines, you'll find it. And it is a book written by Richard Feynman, incredible physicist involved with the Manhattan Project, uh, but also a polymath, and had taught himself how to play the bongos, how to crack safes, how to paint, which he learned doing in strip clubs. A fascinating, hilarious guy expert at problem solving and also a very, very, very famous teacher. He could take complex physics concepts and break them down to the point where all he needed was say an apple and a pen and he could explain something that would normally take years of prereqs. So those are a few of the books that I have gifted the most to other people. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the tips and tactics and how to on this channel or in the podcast, The Tim Ferriss Show, I made this for you. Tribe of Mentors, short advice from the best in the world. This is the book that I wanted to read, so I went out and I put it together. Created a dream list of 130 of the best at what they do, people who are icons, legends, and ask them all the same questions. These are people, in some cases, I've wanted to reach out to my whole life. Ranges from many, many billionaires, co-founders of every company imaginable, elite athletes ranging from surfing to tennis to powerlifting, everything else, country stars, actors, directors, and you can spot the pattern. So some of my friends have said this is the easiest to read, most useful book that I've put together yet. So check it out, tribeofmentors.com. You can find sample chapters, the whole list of mentors, everything, tribeofmentors.com.